what is reverse engineering now by definition it says reverse engineering which is also known as backward engineering is a method to create a 3d virtual cad model of an existing physical part with the aid of cad software now as you can see here we have a scan data which we receive in dot stl format and here we have a cad data that is computer rated design data which we have obtained from this scanning using some cad tools with the help of a cad software one can also observe that the cad file that we have obtained is a replica of the scan data now let's see how the scanning is done or how the scan data is prepared here we observe that this gentleman is holding a handheld 3d scanner which he uses to scan this physical part and this physical part after being fully scanned gives us the scan data which is here now this person will perform some post processing operation to clean this scan data or stl file which will then be exported to us so that we can start designing on it now here we see that the former us president is being scanned now these are the handheld scanners these persons are holding and the human figure here now acts as the physical object which means we can also reverse engineer a human body with the aid of cat software here we see that a scanner which is stationary is used rather than being handheld by a person which means this is not portable and here we see the physical object which is being kept is to be scanned now let's see some facts about the scan data number 1 is the use of targets targets are nothing but stickers that are pasted on the component that is to be scanned these are generally circular in shape they are white colored dot with black outline around them this is how they look like so this will be white in color and this outer area will be black so why are they used suppose i need to scan this object now this object is very large and this is this person here holding a 3d scanner here what he will do is he will scan some this portion and in the other setting he will scan this portion now to compile this image with this image the software needs some sort of reference and that reference is the targets with the use of them the data is collected and registered now the more angles you scan the more targets you need because the scanner had to cover some large areas number second is missing scan data sometimes it happens that the scanned file we receive has some anomalies in it now these anomalies are not always harmful but some requires filling this can be done in various cad softwares here one may be argued that there are no signs of target that have been used in previous photo this is because this component is very small and the target is used on the table that it has been kept on so it means here targets are also used but not on the component but the table itself like this suppose this is the table 
on which the component is kept or we can use the target here 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 and here and after scanning from different angles these targets can be used to compile the data the number three is difficulty in reaching deep pockets suppose there is a component which is very large in size and it has deep pockets it is possible that the scanner cannot or being able to scan that area which is deep like an example shown here as you can see this data is fully filled this is if filled but this is missing some of the scan data now it is not always a big problem but if we have some features in it then we fully have to scan it properly with some more angle shots now we come to the applications of reverse engineering means why do it the first is clay concept to cat clay models are generally made in automotive industries to view the aesthetics of an object or in this case a car it is much cheaper to create a clay model rather than fully manufacturing it and editing it afterwards so what is done is when the clay model is prepared it is scanned using a 3d scanner which can be handheld also and converted into a scan data Here we have the scan data of the clay model. Now as you can also observe that this has some imperfections in it. Like here the data is missing. Here we have some noises. But these all can be altered in the CAD software. So we need not to worry about it. Here we see the CAD model is prepared using the scan data which can also be edited before we can start tooling or even 3D print it. Next, it is also used in medical industry like it can be used to fabricate a bone. What we do is that we scan the bone, perform some operations using the CAD tools to make it a CAD model. Now this CAD model can be used to fabricate the board using 3D printing with a material like calcium phosphate or we can even edit the parameters of the board as required using the CAD software itself. Now the third is the most important and widely used application that is recreating lost CAD or creating a new product using the old object which means if we have lost an object and we want the CAD data of it we can do it by reverse engineering or we can develop a new component using the old physical data as our reference. Now we will see what methodologies are used in CAD. The first one is solid modeling. Now as you can see, we can call it a cylinder with a, another cone or cylinder beside it. This is also a cylinder and this flat area can be called as a plane. And this feature can be extruded from this view, which means solid modeling is used to produce simple solid geometry. Now, this can be made using measuring tools such as calipers or vernier, or we can scan the data and then make it using a CAD software. The second is surface modeling. Now this method is used for generally complex shapes because as you can observe here 
वन कैनॉट मेजर दिस आर्क और दिस आर्क और एनी ऑफ दिस आर्क इट इज ऑल्सो डिफिकल्ट टू मेजर सर्टन फीचर्स ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक दिस सो वॉट वी डू इज वी टेक द हेल्प ऑफ स्कैन डेटा एंड स्टार्ट परफॉर्मिंग सर्फेसिंग ऑपरेशन Now the third one is rapid surface modeling and auto surface modeling. Now this is specially used for highly artistic or organic surfaces because as we can observe that even if somehow we create a complex shape it is difficult to merge it with another surface like here. We observe that this surface is meeting this and this surface using this surface and don't worry if you don't understand now when we start modeling it you will come to know rapid surfacing reduces our efforts to a great extent by automatically creating a surface where we want to in other hand auto surface modeling is similar to rapid surfacing but people use it to obtain a Close volume CAD model. Auto surfacing effortless, but editing it is a big task. The last one is hybrid modeling. Suppose I need to perform surface mod surface modeling and solid modeling on a single component. That means I use more than one type of modeling on a, a single component. This is known as hybrid modeling. Now these techniques can be solid modeling plus surface modeling, surface modeling plus rapid surfacing or three of them combined. In our course we will focus on solid modeling and surface modeling. If you need to know more about rapid and hybrid modeling you can always contact me with my phone number or email i have provided now we will see which cat softwares are used to convert stl to our cat design now one should remember that not all the cat softwares are capable of converting stl file into a CAD file. We will see some of the softwares used widely in industries and are emerging rapidly. The first one is Siemens NX which is also the software on which this course is dependent. Now it can perform solid, surface, auto surface and hybrid modeling. The next one is Katia. It is another powerful engineering tool which can be used to reverse engineering an object. I am sorry, to reverse engineer an object. The third one is SolidWorks. It has a module called Mesh to Surface which can auto surface the scan data.